Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today I wanted to do a review of the Halo bassinet now that I've had time to use it. With my twins, I had a Joby Room 2. It was too big, I had it at the end of the bed, and I actually sold that and I wanted something smaller next to my bed. As you can see, the way my room is set up, this is a built-in my nightstand and then because of the how the window is and the bed frame we actually have it attached to the window frame so it doesn't shake so we actually can't really move the bed a pack and play would have left me no space to open these cabinets so we decided to go with a bedside bassinet and i picked the halo i had done a lot of research and the halo was the same price as kind of the other ones i had looked at i also am very happy with the halo sleep sacks and the halo swaddles and that's what we use and i just they promote safe sleep and i just thought this would be a good one to try and i had a bunch of friends that have it and love it so i am going to kind of really quickly it's not going to be a tutorial but i'm going to really quickly show you some of the features and then let you know what i like and what i don't like and then you can decide for yourself if it's worth a purchase i will say i've seen a lot of these on facebook marketplace and yard sale sites People sell them used all the time because you really only can use it for a couple months and you can definitely get it used. My mother-in-law actually purchased this for us and if she wouldn't have, we would have purchased it new. That's just kind of how we are. But again, you can definitely get them used. So I want to start with, this is a, the Halo Essentia series. So it is not, the, this is the basic model. So it does not have the vibrate options. The other ones have a box on the front and the mattress will vibrate or rock or whatever. I'm not playing music. So this is the very basic model. I think it came in different colors. This is the one that Amazon had for the cheapest. So the first thing I wanna tell you about is the insert. So this is a Snuggle Me insert, infant insert. It's not actually made by Halo, but I do know that Halo makes their own infant inserts. So this is what the infant insert looks like. It just came out of the wash. It's got these two kind of pads on the side and then it's mesh and breathable on the outside. I do not believe that this is a safe sleep space by the American Academy of Pediatrics. So the Halo bassinet is, I don't believe the insert is, even if you got the Halo one. So my disclaimer is use your parental judgment if you wanna use this. I chose to use it, I felt comfortable. And so basically what it does is you do have to clip it in. So you clip these on and you do have to get them kind of exactly right. So it's all stretched out. And then to clean it, it just zips off. I'll show you that. But you basically put the baby in here and it's so that they can't roll around because the bassinet can be kind of big. Bridget is four weeks old and we've already removed this part because lengthwise it does cut off a bunch of length and she's kind of a long baby so we kind of felt like her head was way at the top and when she stretched out her feet were at the bottom and we felt like she kind of was outgrowing it lengthwise so we just figured we would ditch it now and put her right in the bassinet and she's been fine but this was great I think for the first couple weeks when they're very tiny and it just makes holds them in one spot Okay, so I'm going to zip this off so you can see. It just unzips it on the side and the these stay on and you can wash this. We'll start with the mattress. So it came with this mattress cover. I had a really hard time getting it on because I put underneath a mattress protector, which I got on Amazon in a two-pack like this. Aftermarket it is not Halo brand. So I had a little bit of a hard time getting this cover on, but it does go on. And I wouldn't say the cover is like super soft. So I actually bought two sheets on Amazon again. You just have to make sure you get the right shape. So this doesn't look like the right shape, but it is the peanut shape and it's much softer. So that is what I will change it into if she spits up on this. You will want a couple sheets because if your child spits up in the middle of the night or whatever to change it, they do make halo sheets that you can replace it with. But again, they're not super soft and they cost probably three times as much as the, this sheet pack, which was like $10 for two. But this is the sheet that comes with it. I have put a mattress protector on underneath and it just slides right in here really flat, which is perfect. And it, it is a little cushy 
not cushy enough that a baby could wrap themselves up in it, but it gives a little cush if you put on the mattress protector. So the features of this is the swivel and the rotation. So you can put this however you want. I have chosen to have it so it rotates to here and then rotates up closer to me. This is my side at night if I wanted it. I actually had it further up, but I found it hard to get out to make bottles at night. So I have it so that when I put her in it and she's sleeping really well, I usually swivel it to the end of the bed so that the noises she makes is far away from me and we can kind of sleep a little better. And then when I need her closer, I'll swivel her closer. It also has an up and down, so I have it right against my bed, but you can move this up. The whole idea of this was to move it up so that you could rotate it across your bed and have it right in front of you in bed if you need it, like if you had a C-section. So I didn't have a C-section. That is not a feature that I felt like I really wanted to have. I didn't really feel like I needed to be able to swivel her in front of me so that I'm in bed and she's right in front of me right here. I actually like positioning it like this so I can swivel it up and down. But one of the things I really like about this is that you can move it under your bed wherever you want so that the swivel is where you want. So if that makes sense, you can put this higher, lower, have it come across your bed, go up and down the side of your bed. So I like that feature that you can pretty much turn it however you want and still have access to the baby. Another feature that it has is in this, this, one, this side's not a pocket. This is just covering. There's a little unlock button. You pull it down, it unlocks. Same with the other side, but the other side, which I really like this feature, it just has a little mesh pocket and you would think that wouldn't be such a big deal. This has the other unlock button, you just slide it down. But I like that I can put diapers, wipes, cream at night in this pocket. Just a closer look so you guys can see, it's under these pockets and it's just a little tab that you slide down to unlock and the same on the other side and up to lock. So once you unlock that, this is another feature that you can pull it down and get your baby out. So if you had a C-section, you can bring this in front of you on the bed and pull it down. What I do not like and why I do not use this feature is I didn't know when I read it that I liked this feature that you could pull it down and just have really, really easy access to the baby. So if you are in the middle of the night, you can get them out real, really easy. What I didn't realize when I read reviews is this is spring loaded. It doesn't clip down. So you actually have to hold it down. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to hold it down and get your baby out. I don't know, but it doesn't stay down. I don't use that feature. I don't think that's a great feature. That's one of the negatives that I don't think you need to pay. You know, if you're getting the bassinet for that reason, you may want one that like zips down. I've seen where you can roll this down where this one is spring loaded and you have to hold it down. Just lock it back up. So I keep it locked. I still think it's great. This side's a little lower. So that's the side I put near my bed. And I still think that it's great for that. Another thing that I do not like about this bassinet it is so stinking heavy. So we had family pictures. They took pictures on our bed and we had to move this out of the way. It is so stinking heavy. I have seen that you can buy a travel stand for this and that you can certainly get off the marketplace. I saw them for like $15 on the, on my local marketplace where you take this off and it's just a, just a regular stand and you set this on it. It won't swivel, but it's for travel. But this doesn't collapse, this doesn't collapse down at all. So you, I don't, I would never use it for travel. This doesn't fold at all. So if you were using the stand for travel, you still have to put this whole thing in your car. So it's not really a good travel bassinet. It is not a good bassinet to move from room to room because the base is so wide, which is nice because then it's, you know, it's stable. It moves because it has the swivel feature, but it's stable because the base is so wide, but you can't like move this. I couldn't move this to my living room for a nap. It's just too stinking heavy. Even moving it up and down my bed, if I wanted to get this a little closer to the head of the bed, it's like an effort to move the base. It's a heavy, heavy base. So that is one of the negatives. The positive is I think I like that you can move it around. 
I like the size of the actual bassinet. I think it's a good size. Now that I've had the baby, I don't think I actually needed the side access to the baby. And I think I could have gotten away with a cheaper bassinet that sat next to the bed that potentially I could have used for travel and not that I'm traveling a lot of places, but that I could have used for travel and that I also could have put in the living room. But overall, I do like the bassinet. I think it's great. I think it works for exactly what it should work for, but I use it as a basic bassinet. So I could have gotten away with something different. If you're having a C-section, I think it's great. I do, again, I don't necessarily think that this is worth it, that it just is spring loaded, but I think it's great that you can pull it over your bed in front of you and pat the baby, shush the baby, get them out and not really have to sit up and go to the bassinet or lean over the bassinet. I think that feature is great if I were to have had a C-section. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope this helped you a little bit. I don't wanna tell you to buy it or not buy it. Totally not a sponsored video, obviously. I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. Because I have it, I will keep it. If, if I were to have another baby, I would use it again. But I just wanted to give my thoughts on it and I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you use the halo down below, the halo bassinet. Let me know if you love it or don't love it or are indifferent. And we'll see you in the next video.